fourth grade, week 11, 4-7-B, observe and identify slow changes to the earth's surface caused by weathering, erosion, and deposition from water, wind, and ice. Teachers, we're going to work on stream tables this week. This is a long uh, tray set up with sand. And in this particular one, I've made a mountain so that we're going to be talking about some glaciers in yours so the kids understand that glaciers usually happen in mountainous areas, not on like Houston black sandy soil. So I have created you a path with different rocks and I'm going to go ahead and leave what third grade did which is picking up sediments and carrying them to the ocean to make it salty versus fresh water because it just kind of lends itself to the pathway that the water takes across the watershed so the kids are very going to slowly pour some water in a cup they can also use some rain water in spray bottles to show how water runoff in heavy rain, you know, it's always eroding, it's always moving soil, it's going to be moving particles. So this is just a good way to demonstrate how hard rain water can erode and weather. But this other one, it kind of represents a snow melt in the mountains. And when that snow on that mountain reaches 32 degrees, it's going to thaw. And it's going to happen all at once, so you're going to get some fast running water. So let the kids pour their water pretty fast and watch how it gathers around the rocks and the trees and it makes its own pathway. I've actually taken some really jagged rocks up here close to the mountain and as it got closer to the ocean I flattened my rocks out to show that over time those are going to erode. And we've got some deposition going on here with silt and different soils. And then as we got close to the ocean, I put some rounded rocks. Because they have to understand that the closer they get to big body of water, the more this has traveled through there, the rounder the rocks are going to get. Of course, then you've got waves coming in and washing these rocks, eroding them again. Another thing you're going to do is I've made some, this is not made. I will have them made by the time your class meets going to take some rocks and sand and gravel we're going to freeze them to make some glaciers and we're going to lay them in our stream table and let them melt and they're going to see that that sediment and that crust begin to move down that stream table and that's just a good example of how glaciers move now it, it's not going to happen in my quick little video but I'll have them made for you when your class meets and we'll do glacial thawing.